So uh, we're very fortunate to have Deborah Bocheski here, mostly, well, not mostly, but partly because she helped me out with this thing. So. <laughs> but mostly because she writes great poetry. She also does a lot of cool art, too, which you should check out. But anyway, would you please welcome to our humble stage, Deborah Bocheski. So I want to read um, a poem by two different authors who are who were good friends. Uh, one is John O'Donohue, and he died in 2007, and the other is David White. And these are dedicated to my friend Darlene, who passed away on Tuesday after a long battle with ovarian cancer. So first I'm going to read John O'Donohue, and each of his poems is like a little jewel, so it doesn't really matter what he writes about. This one is called For Grief. When you lose someone you love, your life becomes strange. The ground beneath you gets fragile. Your thoughts make your eyes unsure, and some dead echo drags your voice down, where words have no confidence. Your heart has grown heavy with loss, and though this loss has wounded others too, no one knows what has been taken from you when the silence of absence deepens. Flickers of guilt kindle regret for all that was left unsaid or undone. There are days when you wake up happy, again inside the fullness of life, until the moment breaks and you are thrown back onto the black tide of loss. Days when you have your heart back, you are able to function well until in the middle of work or encounter, suddenly with no warning, you are ambushed by grief. It becomes hard to trust yourself. All you can deep depend on now is that sorrow will remain faithful to itself. More than you, it knows its way and will find the right time to pull and pull the rope of grief until that coiled hill of tears has reduced to its last drop. Gradually, you will learn acquaintance with the invisible form of your departed and when the work of grief is done, the wound of loss will heal, and you will have learned to wean your eyes from that gap in the air and be able to enter the hearth in your soul where your loved one has awaited your return all in time. So that one is from To Bless the Space Between Us, a book of blessings. And then the David White is from The Bell and the Blackbird. And this is called Winter Grief. When you find yourself alone in the winter's narrow light, when you want to come out of the darkness only to confirm you can return there again, when you see by a single glance through the misted window that the rain has come to beat on your walls, when you watch yourself alone and walk, walking, when you watch yourself alone and remembering so closely what you never wanted to remember. When everything near to you is too near to you and everything far away is still too far away, let this wind and this winter and this rain and this weather and all the difficult blessings of the world find you here walking in the shelter of white walls under the tracery of stone windows, in the nest of greenness at the valley floor below, a sailing sky between mountains and green fields, among centuries of the rested dead. Let the green that laps at their graves hold your memories in place when they want to slip through your hands. Let the rest in this rested place rest for you. Let the birds sing and the geese call and the sky race from west to east when you cannot raise a wing to fly. Let evening trace your loss in the stonework against a fading sky so that you can give up and give in and be given back to, so that you can let winter come and live fully inside you, so that you can retrace the loving path of heartbreak that brought you here so you can cry alone and be alone, so you can let yourself alone to be lost, so you can let the one you have lost alone 
so that you can let the one you have lost have their own life and even their own death without you. So the world and everyone who has ever lived and ever died can come and go as they please. So you can let yourself not know what not knowing means. So that you can be even more generous in your letting go than they were in their leaving. So that you can let winter be winter. So that you can let the world alone to think of spring. Thank you.